birthing procedure is looking to reverse the effects of a difficult birth. Chantal Jean is about to become a mother for the first time. I'm going to wait and see how it goes and like to try it all natural. But if the pain is unbearable, she'll probably decide to exercise another option. It's an option Brigitte Mongrain tested 24 hours ago, just before ushering Philippe into the world. I can feel everything and no pain at all. So I, I was just great. That was a far cry from Brigitte's first delivery two years ago, when the pain was overwhelming. What happened is I froze after my baby was out. And uh, when I was frozen, what happened is I was kind of paralyzed. So it's, I didn't do really like that. The traditional epidural doctors gave Brigitte failed to take effect when she needed it most. The drug then left her unable to move from the waist down for two hours after her daughter was born. But this time around, the sensations were much different. It's like numb, but not as numb. You can feel things that people touch me, my legs, or put some cold or hot. I can feel it, and it's very uh, comfortable. Comfort and pleasure, thanks to this small instrument. It's called the Continuous Infusion Labor Epidural, affectionately dubbed the Happy Dural by staff at the Lakeshore General Hospital. And we attach this onto the epidural catheter, and all this is is it's a pump now that will continuously, constantly inject medication through this pump at a constant rate and keep the mother pain-free until the time the baby's born. Because the flow of pain relievers is constant, doctors are able to reduce the dosage using a diluted mix of narcotics and anesthesia that's safer for mother and baby, rather than the traditional medication that partially freezes patients and must be administered hourly. We're just lightly numbing up the pain fibers and we're leaving the strength fibers intact so that a mother has normal strength and at the time of delivery, she can actually help push and bear down. Since last year, more than a thousand babies have been born at the Lakeshore General using the Happy Dural. Other Montreal hospitals are slowly following suit, but cost and staff training have been obstacles. The pump costs three thousand dollars. The more we use it, the more we like it. And for Brigitte Mongrain, the hospital's investment could just mean another future addition. Has this changed your mind about having other kids? Yes. Yeah? More kids? Yeah. <laughs> another one, maybe. Leanne Castellino, Pulse News.